some of the best acting comes with the maturity and experience to nail an emotional role. Maybe this is why so many TV shows turn to older actors for the roles of high school students. But in some cases, these actors could be parents to high school students. From Riverdale to Scream and even Harry Potter, we see some actors who have aged incredibly well and could pull the part off while others neared their 40s and stuck out like a sore thumb while exploring their high school memories on both television and in movies. One of the biggest mysteries on the CW's Riverdale doesn't have to do with the serpents, ghoulies, or a black hood. It has to do with the ages of the cast. They all pretty much look way too old to be in high school, including Cole Sprouse, who was past the age of 24 when cast in the role. But the focus here is on Ashley Murray, who was cast as high schooler Josie at the age of 29. Now in her 30s, Murray is still repping those high school vibes, even though the show is a far cry from any high school life we're aware of. You know, like underground nightclubs, barely going to class, jailhouse fight clubs, and constant trips to the diner. At least the Riverdale spinoff, Katie Keene, takes place a few years in the future, so Murray is a little closer to her real age, being cast as a high school student at 24 years old isn't too uncommon in Hollywood, but in the case of Tom Welling and Smallville, this was a little different. During season one of the show, Clark Kent was supposed to be only 14 years old. Even if they had good de-aging technology back in the day, it's still hard to get Welling to look anywhere close to 14. Sure, they had him clean shaven for every episode, and a line about Kryptonian puberty could have explained a lot, but there was just no way Clark Kent looked 14 here. Either way, making him a freshman was the smart way to go. It gave the show four seasons of prime high school drama before Clark ventured off to college. After the release of American Pie in 1999, we dealt with a whole decade of high school-based raunchy comedies, and these movies needed actors to fill the roles of those hormone-filled students. Sometimes the pool was just too small, and casting agents reached out to older actors. Case in point, the movie Fired Up, where a couple of football players decide to attend cheerleading camp. One of the main characters is played by Eric Christian Olsen, who was 31 years old during filming. Nothing like playing an innocent high school student and then transitioning to an agent on NCIS Los Angeles. Up until Tom Holland was cast as Spider-Man, it seemed like the world of Marvel couldn't quite get the age right. Journeying back to the Sam Raimi trilogy, Peter Parker was portrayed by Tobey Maguire. Sure, Maguire had a boyish charm, but he was supposed to be around 17 to 18 years old when he was cast. His actual age, 27. Those are much different hormones doing around, spider bite or not. By the time Spider-Man 3 rolled out, Maguire was 32 years old. Now, thankfully, Parker was long out of high school and it made much more sense to follow the actor in his early 20s as opposed to a high school student cramming for a test. Let's play a game. Guess the ages of the Grease cast. You know the ones, the pride and joy of Rydell High. There's John Travolta with his jacket and freshly gelled hair. You gotta guess, he was 23 years old, so not too bad. How about his love interest Sandy, played by Olivia Newton-John? Well, she was 29 years old. And now for the final guest, Stalker Channing, who played the role of Rizzo. If you guessed 30, you were three years off. Rizzo's portrayer was 33 at the time of filming. While Ferris had the charisma, comedic talent, and confidence during his day off, we all couldn't help but relate to his best buddy Cameron Fry. The anxious lad stole a lot of the scenes he was in, portrayed by Alan Ruck. The fresh-faced actor fooled us all as the 18-year-old because he was 30 years old when the movie was being filmed, so in reality, it had been a real long time since he had even had to consider playing hooky. Michael J. Fox was one of Hollywood's leading younger actors when he starred in Family Ties, and he transitioned his youthful success onto the big screen for the beloved Back to the Future trilogy. While Fox fit the role of the 17-year-old pretty nicely for the first two films, Fox's transition into full adulthood became obvious by the time Back to the Future Part 3 was released. Fox was 29 when the second sequel was filmed, and looked pretty well past 17 years old at that point. Guess we could just blame it all on the time travel and stuff, but Comparisons between the first film and the third showcase some pretty big growth and aging differences. 
The elevated nature of a slasher film like Scream means you have to suspend disbelief for 90 minutes, but the cast of Scream would have been better off attending Woodsboro Community College instead of Woodsboro High School. The oldest among the high school members of the cast are Skeet Ulrich and Matthew Lillard. Both actors were 26 when Scream was filming. Oh, fun fact, David Arquette was hired to play Deputy Dewey, a character who was around 25 at the time of filming. In real life, Arquette is younger than both Ulrich and Lillard, despite playing such big age gaps from each other in the movie. For this entry, we're leaving Sam Raimi's universe and heading to the world of the amazing Spider-Man. In the film, Parker is playing a high school senior. While his direct age is not stated, it's assumed to be around 17 or 18. Well, the Spidey portrayer, Andrew Garfield, was long gone from high school when cast in the role. He was 28, playing the high school Spider-Man, about a decade past his supposed age. At least Garfield looked a lot younger than Tobey Maguire did as his Spider-Man. It just felt a little odd, considering Garfield played a college student in the social network just a couple of years prior. In the former ABC family show Pretty Little Liar, the cast was filled with a lot of really young talent, but were you able to spot the veteran older actress among all of the teens? If you guessed Maya St. Germain, you'd be right. The character appeared in the first two seasons of the show and was played by Bianca Lawson. Maya was 17 years old on the show, so can you guess Bianca's age in real life when she was cast? 28? Nope. 29? Close. She was 31. Yeah, 31 years old. No joke. Bianca has been playing a 17-year-old since she was 17 and has barely aged a day. Speaking of vampires, the hit WB network show Buffy the Vampire Slayer also featured an older actress in a younger role. And it's only fitting considering how vampires are supposed to be ageless. We are talking about the character Cordelia Chase, played by Charisma Carpenter. Playing the 17-year-old bad girl and bully, Carpenter was cast at the age of 27 and played the teenage role until she was 32. She would go on to appear in the Buffy spinoff Angel, if you're clueless about who the older actor is in Clueless, well, let us clue you in. Stacey Dash played Cher's best friend Dion in the 1995 film, and she was 28 years old at the point she was cast as the 17-year-old student. Even more impressive was her casting after the film. Clueless, the TV show, aired from 1996 until 1999, and Dash reprised her role, continuing to defy the odds and play a teenage student for over 60 episodes. And from one iconic 90s teen film to the next, we're talking about 10 Things I Hate About You. The cast was full of young and rising stars, including Heath Ledger, Julia Stiles, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. But one of their high school classmates was nearly 10 years older than all the others. It was Gabrielle Union, who was 27 years old when she was cast as Chastity Church. And just one year later, Union returned to high school for a starring role in the cheerleader film Bring It On. Funnily enough, after playing these high school roles, she plays closer to her real age in 2001, as she dates both Joey and Ross on an episode of Friends. The classic sitcom Happy Days explored the simple and fun lives of several teens, but when Henry Winkler was cast as the Fonz, his happy days as a teen were long over. Fonzie started the series around 18 years old, and Winkler was 10 years older, playing the teen at 28. The show would go on for several seasons, meaning that at the end of the run, and after the epic literal jumping the shark moment, Winkler was 35 years old. He did start showing his age a little bit towards the later seasons, in the 1990s, one of the hottest young casts on television was featured on the hit show Beverly Hills 90210. Each actor became a superstar in their own right, and the series was even rebooted earlier this year. Among all the characters on the show, one actress was way older than the others, and it was Gabrielle Carteris. She played a 16-year-old student. After leaving the show after the first five seasons, she was already in her mid-30s. A quick little math calculation, and boom! Yeah, she was 29 years old when cast on the show. Her character, Andrea Zuckerman, fit in with the other teens, and if anything showcased her age, it was the wardrobe she wore as opposed to her looks. It seems like it was a tradition for the 90210 franchise to hire older actors in younger roles. When the series rebooted in 2008 on The CW, the character Teddy Montgomery debuted in Season 2 and was played by Trevor Donovan. Despite being a high school teen, Donovan was 29 years old when cast in the part. The show just keeps finding these actors who can defy age, play believable teens, and allow the drama to pan out from there. The character was only a main player for a single season, so maybe the show got worried that he would look too old if he stuck around for too long? 
When Disney needs to fill out the cast of children for a new television series, they'll typically turn to their pool of child actors and create new stars out of them. Just look at young actors like Hilary Duff, Miley Cyrus, and Zac Efron. When it came to cast Hannah Montana's brother for the hit series, they avoided child stars altogether. The 16-year-old was actually played by the fresh-faced Jason Earls, who was 29 years old. So while Jackson Stewart was dealing with high school problems on the show, the real-life Earls was actually raising a child at home. After starring in 10 Things I Hate About You, Julia Stiles continued her run of great teen movie roles with a performance in the teen film Save the Last Dance. The movie was a hit with kids, and Stiles co-starred alongside Sean Patrick Thomas. Thomas didn't look much older than Stiles, but he definitely was. Passed at 30 years old, Thomas was well past his prime dancing years, but he proved he could perform the moves and deliver the dramatic moments at the time. Gilmore Girls has always felt like a pretty realistic portrayal of its characters and the drama they go through. Well, one of the cast members is hiding a big secret about their age, something the wardrobe and hairstyles help cover up for every season of the show. The character in question? Lane Kim, played by actress Kiko Agena. The actress was 27 years old when cast as the 16-year-old, so uh, yeah, she was closer in age to Lauren Graham rather than any of the teenage stars. She fooled us all during her run on the show and still looked youthful when it came time for the Netflix revival series. But things eventually came full circle for the actress as she appeared as a high school teacher. Being cast as a younger character is not just about the looks, the voice makes a big impact as well. Here I am, minding my own business, and someone thinks it's funny to throw a book at me. And this is probably the reason for the casting of Moaning Myrtle in the Harry Potter series. Thanks to some ghost-like effects, it was hard to tell actress Shirley Henderson's age either, and no one really questioned it when watching the films. It's when you hop onto IMDb and discover that Henderson was actually 37 years old and played Myrtle into her 40s, and that's when the awe truly sets in. Thanks to some well-cut bangs and the high-pitched voice, Henderson put a spell on us. Sometimes on shows, you just have to suspend your disbelief when a cast is presented as students, and they all look way too old for the parts. This was the case for the hit Fox series Glee. It makes sense. They can't have a cast of singers whose voices are still evolving and may not have the same tone or pitch as time goes on. While a majority of the core members were in their mid-twenties on the show, but it was the lead, Corey Monteith, who anchored them as the oldest. He played the role of Finn Hudson from the ages of 27 to 31 before his untimely death in 2013. As we mentioned before, Disney loves to make stars out of child actors, and High School Musical helped launch many careers, including Zac Efron, Ashley Tisdale, and Vanessa Hudgens. Also among the cast was Monique Coleman, who played the role of Taylor. Over the course of two movies and a theatrical film, we all believed Taylor was a young teen, but the actress portraying her was cast at 27 and stuck to the role right up until her early 30s. Even as we saw her graduate high school in the third movie, she still blended in well with the younger performers, and unless you spent time googling ages, it was impossible to tell. The cult film Mean Girls was filled with a lot of teen girls, but one of these girls could have been considered a woman while the cameras were rolling. Thanks to bleach blonde hair and a youthful attitude, no one doubted the 16-year-old Regina George was actually a high school student. She was played by Rachel McAdams, who was 25 when the movie was filmed. Not the most outlandish age difference, but pretty surprising considering how young she actually looks in the film. Out of a majority of the cast, she seems like the least likely to be the oldest one among the younger actors. The indie film Napoleon Dynamite was such a weird and quirky film, they could have probably gotten away with casting elderly people in the roles of high school students, and it still would have been a hit. For actor Efren Ramirez to step into the role of a high school student, he probably felt a little like Drew Barrymore and never been kissed. Yeah, the uh, vote for Pedro shirts may have applied to a high school election, but Efren was closer to running for president of the United States as opposed to a high school class. Of course, he didn't stand out in the movie thanks to his goofy hairstyle and the unique style the film was presented in. One of Tom Hanks' greatest roles will always be as the train conductor in the Polar Express. 
just kidding. Of course, his greatest live action role will be known as Forrest Gump, the good hearted man who has a lifetime of memories and stories he shared while sitting at a bus stop. The film chronicles Forrest's whole life, and while a young actor plays the role of a preteen Forrest, Tom Hanks takes over the role when Forrest is just a high school student getting chased down by some locals. Thankfully, he runs fast in those scenes because Hanks was 37 years old when he played Gump. Yeah, some of these actors truly have incredible genes, and Hollywood sure does have some great makeup artists. Which entries looked the youngest? Any great ones that we missed? Which ones looked way too old? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Screen Rant for more great content.